Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shelly and today is Poetry Thursday. This is my first time um, participating in Poetry Thursday and I decided to read one of Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories poems. Um, the way this book is structured is there is a short story and this is a children's book, so there, it's a short, silly story centered around animals. And then it follows with a poem. And what I imagined uh, Kipling doing, I don't know if this is what he was trying to do, um, but what I imagined is in between um, scenes of a play or even scenes of a movie, when a minstrel comes out and sings um, in order to serve as a transition from one story to the next. That's what I imagine these poems are doing um, in Kipling's book. So the poem I'm going to read goes with the short story, How the Com Camel Got Its Hump. How the Camel Got Its Hump is a story about the beginning of the world when it was being created and the camel was there, humpless, and the camel is being asked by other characters to help, to get busy and help with them uh, with the creation of this world. And the camel's response every time is humph, humph. Um, and he continues not to help with the building of the world. And so how he is punished is that he actually gets a hump on his back. Um, for all of the responses of humph he gets. And so this is the poem that follows uh, that short story. The camel's hump is an ugly lump, which well you see at the zoo. But uglier yet is the hump we get from having little to do. Kitties and grown-ups to ooh -oo, if we haven't enough to do ooh. -oo. We get the hump, camelus hump, the hump that is black and blue. We climb out of bed with a frozzly head and a snarly, yarly voice. We shiver and scowl and we grunt and we growl at our bath and our boots and our toys. And there ought to be a corner for me and I know there is one for you. When we get the hump, camelus hump, the hump that is black and blue. The cure for this is ill. Uh, the cure for this ill is not to sit still or frost with a book by the fire, but to take a large hoe and a shovel also and dig it till you gently perspire. And then you will find that the wind, the sun and the wind and the gin of the garden too have lifted the hump, the horrible hump, the hump that is black and blue. I get it as well as you, ooh, ooh, if I haven't enough to do, ooh, ooh. We all get the hump, camelus hump, kitties and grown-ups too. There is that little line about, um, we will get the hump if we sit by the fire with a book. So I imagine all of us on book tubes clearly have a hump on our back because instead of getting busy with a hoe and a shovel, we're often probably sitting by the fire with a book or just sitting with a book. That's what I thought of. And I really thought this was a beautiful little poem. I'm so glad that we were able to share it together and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.